Hey guys, I'm here with my empties video for the month of October. I have a lot here, a lot. Probably because October is probably one of the biggest burning months because it's September, you kind of burn, but sometimes September can be a little bit warm still, so you don't jump into burning and melting quite as much, but like October is when it really, the fall weather starts kicking in and you just gotta go crazy with melting and burning, and that's what I did because I have a lot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go try to go pretty quick so this video is not super, super long. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a brief description of what it was, if I liked it, and then just move on. So we'll start with the candles as always. Add some candles, some wax melts, and then some hand soaps at the end. I want a few wallflowers. So first we have from Bath and Body Works, we have Caramel Woods. This is from last year's collection. It was the one with the leaves around it. This was sent to us from our subscriber, Gene. Thank you so much, as always, Gene, for all the candles you sent us, send us over the years. She's so good to us. This one, I really like this one. This one was really strong, too. I pretty much just get caramel with oak. It's like caramel mixed with a woodsy oak, mixed with the caramel. Actual, the woodsy oakiness is a little bit more than the caramel. I thought maybe the caramel might be too strong in this because sometimes that happens with caramel candles, but I would say the woodsy oakiness was a little bit stronger than the caramel in this one. It was really nice, I liked it. And like I said, it was really strong. This one burned pretty good. I don't think I had puny waste at all with this one. So yeah, I was happy with that one. It was a good one. Next we have Campfire Donut from this year. I did a review on this one and mm, this one's good. I liked it, it's just, I pretty much get bread, just a baked bread, it's like a sourdough bread, maybe with like a little butteriness to it, bread in the oven type of scent. It does kind of have a sweetness, slight bit of powdered sugar in there, but mostly I get more like a bready scent with this, just baked bread, buttery. It's really good, it was a little bit light, but I did like it. When I could smell it. I smelled it most of the time, but I wish it was a little bit stronger, but I did buy another one because I wanted another one, so we'll see how my other one performs. Next we have Spiced Graham Cracker from Bath & Body Works. I did a review on this one as well. This one was okay, but it was really light. Not as light as I thought it was going to be because a lot of people said they theirs was pretty much almost unscented. Super, super light. Mine was um, light at first, but it did kick in towards the last part of it, and it ended up being probably about like a six or so. I mean, I guess definitely smell it. And on cold snap, I kind of thought it smelled a little bit like pumpkin sugar donut, but when I burned it, it didn't smell that way. When I burned it, it was just like a spicy, definitely got like a graham cracker note with a little bit of spices and stuff in there. But it was different than anything I really smelled when I burned it. It wasn't, it didn't remind exactly of anything when I burned it. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good when I burned it. I do wish it was a little bit stronger as well, but um, it was, it was not too bad. Then we have, let me do the Bath and Body Works here first. We have banana pumpkin muffin, or pumpkin banana muffin, sorry. Had it backwards. Pumpkin banana muffin from last year's fall collection from Bath and Body Works had the pumpkin lids. I love those lids. I was kind of disappointed they didn't have any nice lids like this this year in the fall candles. This was another one sent to us from Jean. Thank you again, Jean. This is a really good one. It's very... Pretty much a repackage of my favorite banana nutmeg bread pudding. Although, I've always said ban banana nutmeg pudding is my favorite. But this year's berry waffle cone, I'm telling you, that was almost neck and neck with banana nutmeg, banana nutmeg bread pudding. And I'm actually burning my second, or actually my third one, I think. Third, maybe fourth, I don't know. I've had so many of that one, I love it. That one's doing really good again. I love that candle. That will be in my next empties video. So by the time I finish it, I will decide on if that knocked banana nutmeg bread pudding off its number one spot for me. But anyway, yeah, back to this one. It's pretty much like that. Um, it burned really good. It, I don't think, for some reason, it wasn't quite as good to me as my banana nutmeg, nutmeg why can I not say that today? Banana nutmeg bread pudding was before. But the one I had that I reviewed last year, this one was a little bit better though. It was uh, did pretty good. And towards the end of it though, it got that kind of a, uh, the kind of smell like the certain candles have that's like something browning in the oven. Some people think it's kind of a burnt smell, like burnt toast or burnt 
cinnamon rolls or something. It had that kind of a burnt smell that some people say, but I don't think it smells like a scorched burnt smell. It does smell like a browning, slightly burning smell. That kind of had that at the end of this, and I've heard a lot of people say that about this candle and about banana nutmeg bread pudding. They think it smells burnt. I don't mind it. I like it. Call me crazy, but I like that smell. It had a little bit of that more towards the end, but I still liked it. I think it smells good. I like it. Next we have Flipping Awesome Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was from this year. I got this, uh, I think they had them on sale for $10 and then I had a 20% off coupon. I think I got it for like, or was it? I got it for like seven or $8 or something like that. So I had to pick one up because it was a really good deal and I haven't had this one for a while. I actually have one in my collection from 2014, which I really don't want to burn because that was like the best year for pumpkin pecan waffles. So I'm just kind of keeping, I don't want to burn that one. So I picked this one up because I really wanted to burn it again because I haven't had pumpkin pecan waffles for quite a while. And I was really happy with this one again. It's really good. Pumpkin pecan waffles is one of my favorites. Such a good, mm, nutty, pumpkin-y, syrupy waffle scent. And this one was really strong. It smelled really good. I mean, it fills up my whole living room down to the hallway. No problems at all. Uh, I think this one burned pretty good too. So yes, that's, I still like pumpkin pecan waffles. Still a favorite of mine. Next we have, but first coffee. I did a review of this one as well. I really enjoyed this one. On cold sniff, this one is just comes off as like a roasted espresso, just pure roasted espresso, not really any kind of cream or anything. But then when you burn it, especially like on that, towards the second burn, end of the first burn towards the second burn, it really, that vanilla creme, this in the description really comes out and really has like a sweet, creamy, creamy, like almost like a coffee creamer mixed with coffee type of cell scent, a little vanilla like. And it was really good, I really liked it. I don't think it smells like espresso bar because to me that one's just pure coffee with like a little bit of chocolate. There was no chocolate in this one or anything. Just like a coffee with like a little bit of vanilla creme. And yes, it was good. And I heard that they had pulled these off the shelves because of the packaging. Supposedly they copied somebody's artwork for this. They had to pull them off the shelves. But then I also just recently heard that they that has been settled and now they're back on the shelves. I haven't seen them in my store though, but I've heard some stores are having them back on the shelves. So if you see this, pick it up because it was really good. I really liked it. And then lastly from Bath & Body Works we have, oh and I did a review for this one too. Did I say that? Did a review for that one. And then I also did a review for, review for this one. I just put a review of this one out last week. Grapefruit Gin Fizz. This is in a really like fluorescent neon type of color, even though it doesn't now that it's burnt, I don't know if it's, it's not as bright as it was when I first got it. And then on camera, it doesn't show as bright either. Maybe it's because it has that residue on there. I don't know, but it's really bright neon color. It's really pretty. This one, I was surprised with this one. I liked it more than I thought I was going to. I liked it on cold sniff, but I'm not super big, big on like fruity grapefruit type of scents, like I said in my review, but this really, the grapefruit wasn't like your typical grapefruit. It was more of a sweet scent, citrusy. And then that, uh, the gin, juniper gin, it had a slight bit of alcohol note, but that juniper in there really had that pine quality. I said in my review that juniper and from the Essentials Oil Collection candle, that one really smells very, has a really strong pine. With the, with juniper does somewhat smell like pine. To me, sometimes it smells more pine and, and other things that it's in, it doesn't smell as much as pine, but that juniper essential oils candle really has a really strong pine scent to it. And I, this is what it smells like. It's like a little bit of that in here, not completely, but just a little bit with it. Some people smell it more than others. I did get that pine, but it wasn't like a lot. It, it didn't remind me of like a Christmas pine necessarily, but it definitely had that pine in there along with that. I did also get the citrus from the grapefruit and then um, a fizzy effervescentness. Uh, yeah, it was really good and it was pretty strong. It was about a seven or so and it's burned really good. It's got a little puny towards the end, but it burned pretty good for the most part. So yes, I recommend that one as well. Okay, now we have uh, my last two from the uh, Homeworks by Harry Slacken. This one is Wild Fig and Red Current. These are heavy, <laughs> these jars. I'm gonna definitely take the sticker off here and then clean it out and then repurpose these, save them for something because they're so pretty, these jars. Probably in the bathroom maybe for something. 
we'll, we'll do something with them. So Wild Fig and Red Current, I did a review on all these. Homeworks candles. This one was, it was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite. It's just like, you definitely get the uh, Red Current, the Wild Fig fruitiness of it. And then you get a little bit of oakiness. And then it also had, on a cold sniff, it had a, a, like a green note to it. When I burned it, it didn't quite have a green note as much when I burned it. But I did, um, it, but it was nice. It was pretty good. I don't know if I would get this in again personally, but it was fairly good. And um, medium, medium throw on this one. Um, the burn was a little slow to pull out at first, but towards the last part of this one, it pulled out a lot faster for some reason on this one. So it wasn't so, so bad on the burn on that one. And then we have my favorite from the whole Homer's collection, Smoked Pumpkin Woods. This was my favorite. I love this candle so much. This was just such a good, to me it reminded me of a cross between like pumpkin pie from Bath & Body Works and then like marshmallow fireside. You definitely got the pumpkin in there. Um, slight bit of bakeriness and then like your pumpkin, pumpkin spices in there and then you definitely got the smokiness of there, like a marshmallow fireside, the smokiness, the the woodsiness, uh, even like a little bit of a marshmallowy vanilla like in here mixed with that pumpkin pie and woodsy and oaky. It was so good, so good. This one, and this one was really strong too for the most part. Even when it wasn't pulled out of the way, it was pretty strong. I, I really, this had like a medium to high throw for me. This one did burn really bad though. This one took forever to pull out. It wanted to tunnel for a long time. I had a cotton bottle a couple of times so it would uh, burn more evenly. And then every time it just took a long, long time to pull out on this one. The burn was really bad on this one. But I love the scent so that it made up for it because I love the scent. And I would probably repurchase this one again because I just, I love the scent so much. And like I said, even though the burn was funny on it, it it smelled even when it wasn't pulled out of the way. So yes, I highly recommend that one. It was my favorite from the Homeworks collections. I loved that one. Now we have three Yankee Candles here that I will discuss. And if you're a huge Yankee Candle fan and you don't like to hear bad things about Yankee, you might want to turn this off right now and skip until I talk about the wax melts because I don't have such great things to say about these Yankee Candles here. First I have Yankee Candle Moonbeams on Pumpkins. So I burned this one and I couldn't smell anything. On cold sniff, and when I can smell it now, I smell it in the, even though there's nothing in here, which I'll tell you in a minute why, I'm sure you know why. It's just, it, it's like a, you definitely get the pumpkin spice. It has a bakeriness to it. To me, it was like a, a darker kind of pumpkin spice, if that makes kind of a sense. Um, you definitely get the spices and everything in there and like I said, a baker quality with it, but I couldn't smell anything when I burned it. I mean, almost hardly anything. I mean, almost unscented. Every once in a great while, I thought I got like just a hint of it. I mean, I'm, I'm talking hint, but hardly anything. And I burned it about halfway through. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put it on my candle warmer. So I set it on my candle warmer, my Ashland warmer. I set it on there. It melts all the way. Kind of does the same thing as a candle crock. Candle crock, you just put it inside and it warms up on the side as well candle warmer just warms up from the bottom and I still couldn't smell it and I was so surprised because usually Yankees they used to always do really good for me on my candle crock and my, on my candle warmers and in my candle crock still I still couldn't smell anything even when I melted it I was so disappointed because I couldn't smell anything so yeah that was a no go it was not good burning or even on my candle warmer and then also we have Yankee Candles Sugared Pumpkin Swirl in the Two Wick Tumbler. And that is why, sorry, back to this one. When they're done, when it's on the candle uh, warmer and after it's done, I just pour all the wax out when, it's, when it lost its scent, even though it lost its scent way before I even melted it. But that's why I just pour everything out and the wicks and everything come out with it. So Sugared Pumpkin Swirl, this one on cold, once again, it's a really, really nice. I like it. A, a caramely pumpkin cinnamon, not cinnamon. Well, it has cinnamon in there, like pumpkin spice, um, bakery, uh, caramely. What well, you do get actual cinnamon here. Um, it kind of reminds me of a pumpkin caramel swirl from Bath and Body Works and cinnamon caramel swirl. It has that same kind of a quality to it. But once again with this one, I couldn't smell it. And I've heard a lot of people say this is really strong. I heard somebody just recently say, they said the tumbler threw them out of the house. 
I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. What? <laughs> I don't understand. I would love to have a Yankee Candle throw me, throw me out of the house. I can't say that's ever happened to me, except for maybe chocolate layer cake. That one's really strong. But other than that, most of them just, they just, I don't know. Maybe I have a bad house for Yankee Candles. Or maybe my nose just is not responsive to Yankee Candles because I just have not good luck with Yankee Candles for the majority of the part. Every once in a while, I'll get a few here and there that I have very good, fairly good luck with. I just, I don't know, I just don't. I just, and I, same as that Moonbeams and Pumpkins, I put it on my candle warmer. Still didn't get her anything with it. I don't know what happened. Just nothing good with that. Either one of those two. And then also we have a third one. This is Warm Apple Crisp. This is a returning favorites. I hate to talk bad about Yankee because I think people don't like to hear bad things about Yankee, but... I have to keep it real with you. I'm not going to tell you I like this candle if I didn't like it and if it didn't smell. So this is a warm apple crisp on cold. Delicious. I loved it. Apple, cinnamon, bakery, apple pie, crisp, the, the filling, not necessarily crushed note so much in this one, but definitely has like, it's, it's kind of like the picture. It's got like the apples and cinnamon and the, the juice and the glaze of it all. But then not a super big crest note in this. Um, but super light. I did get a little, I would say this one was probably a little bit more smelled it than my two tumblers that I had here. I got maybe a two to three out of this one when it was burning. But then I put it on my candle warmer and it wasn't strong either. I'm so surprised because usually I've had good luck of putting Yankees on my candle warmers and I've raved about how well they do on candle warmers before. These three, I did smell this one the most out of those two though. And even on the candle warmer, I smelled it a little bit, but still nothing like I normally do. It was just the first day, maybe I smelled maybe up to like a, a four or so. And then it just died out really quick. Okay, oops, I forgot. I have one more candle here. This is Pumpkin Spice. This is from our subscriber, Caleb. He sent us these. He makes his own candles. So he had a little mason jar and the Pumpkin Spice scent. This was good. Really nice Pumpkin Spice scent. It almost has like a little bit of a, almost like a, like a chai scent to it. It's almost like a pumpkin chai spice. It has like, almost like a cardamom scent in there, which was different. I really liked it. And it was really good. I enjoyed that one. So I have some other stuff too. He sent me some other candles and wax melts that I will be trying out as well. Okay, now we'll go with the wax melts. I'm gonna try to go super fast because I have so many here. Okay, we have Better Homes and Gardens Sweet Candied Apples. This was good. This, it was pretty strong. Brad said this was really super strong for him. To me, it was not as strong as some others, but it was good. Just apple scent with like a, a candied sweetness to it. It was nice. Then we have Yankee Candles Home Inspirations Pumpkin Berry Tart. This was good too. It reminded me of reminded me of apple spice from Yankee Candle, but it had definitely had it like a with a berry. There was a berry note in here too. It's like apple spice with like a berry note mixed in. It was good and it was strong. I liked it. We have Suede Cinnamon Woods from Better Homes and Gardens. This was good. It's a cinnamon with just like a suede leathery type of scent mixed with that. But, but that suede leathery kind of toned down that cinnamon. So um, it was pretty good. I liked it We have harvest moon pumpkin kisses and autumn wishes this one was just Apple and pumpkin but more apple. It was very strong on the apple when it when it melted You really got that apple with just a little bit of hint of the pumpkin in the background Like apple pumpkin scents normally are a little good mixture and might have a little bit more of a spice to them This definitely didn't really have a spice really more just apple with a slight bit of like pumpkin in the background, but not really spicy though. Next we have Better Homes and Gardens Around the Campfire. This one I didn't care for. I just did not care for this one. This one was definitely super, super woodsy and oaky, which is crazy because I love woodsy and oaky scents, but this one was like over the top oaky. It's like super, like way oaky. Almost like I couldn't handle it. It was just so strong. A lot of people had told me um, when I, I posted about this somewhere, they said I should mix like a cube of vanilla cookie crunch in there to make, to tone it down. 
I would maybe recommend that if because this is very very strong the woodsy oakiness it needed just a little bit of creaminess in there to kind of calm that down a little bit next we have bed homes and gardens fall into autumn this was from last year I had this left over from last year it's really good I like it this one reminds me it's like a mixture of like leaves from Bath and Body Works leaves and um uh, like cranberry pumpkin and harvest gathering it has that kind of a vibe it's like all those kind of mixed together very fall like it's good I like that one we have sensationals welcome spiced apples and pumpkins so another pumpkin apple one this one I didn't really care for this one this one definitely is more kind of apple -y, but it's kind of more apple cider like but it's I don't know I just didn't care for that one very well it was like a cider, but not a very good cider. Like, wasn't crazy about it. We have pumpkin pa pumpkin patch maize get lost in the season from Sensationals. This one I didn't care for either. This one has just a weird note. It's very hard for me to describe this one. It's like you do kind of get like a pumpkin, kind of a pumpkin spice, maybe a little bakery like, but I don't know. It's just I wasn't super crazy about this one for some reason. It was just different, but different not in a good way I, I didn't care that much for that one we have better homes and gardens pumpkin butter cookies from this year this one was pretty good just a um kind of like your pumpkin spice and this these kind of wax melts slightly bakery it was pretty good that wasn't too bad we have cinnamon apple dumpling from better homes and gardens and i said in my haul that this reminds me of sensationals um is it warm apple pie yes i believe it smells very much like warm apple pie from sensationals this one is super strong too i mean i'm telling you i had three cubes in my warmer three cubes is way too much you'll be blown out of the house uh, it'll give you a headache almost because that cinnamon is so strong in here with that apple but this a little more stronger on the cinnamon but it does smell like apple cinnamon type of kind of a apple pie not like a real bakery crust note or anything in here though but like I said, it's super, super strong. I would recommend just two cubes. I tried one cube. I just finished this up today, actually, and I put one, I had two cubes left, so I put one cube in the living room, one cube in the bedroom. That was almost too light because I came home after just being gone for a couple of hours and it's pretty much gone now. I can't smell it anymore at all. So I would probably recommend two cubes. Maybe try one and a half, but one is not enough. Three is just way too many. So yeah, it's good, but it's really strong. And then farm apple pumpkin from last year. This is just a good uh, apple pumpkin scent. This one, like I said, is kind of like your apple pumpkin scents that have a more of a good balance of apple and pumpkin. And this has more like more spices in there from the pumpkin, pumpkin spice and stuff mixed with that apple. So that's good. And then we have Scentsy apple butter frosting. This was sent to us from Angela AA early on YouTube. Thank you, Angela. This one. It was really nice. This one is kind of reminds me of a cross between like pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works and like cinnamon caramel swirl. It has that kind of a vibe, kind of an apple cinnamony, pumpkiny, kind of slightly bakerish like a little bit. The creamy frosting. Yeah, it was good and um, it was pretty strong with those two. Then uh, let's see, we have Sensationals Praline Spice Cinnamon Bark and Vanilla Cream. I like this one. It's pretty good. Um, it's cinnamon with vanilla. It's like a vanilla mixed in with that cinnamon. And that vanilla kind of tones down that cinnamon. Kind of like what maybe you needed to do with, uh, what was the other one? The, um, oh no, that was around the campfire. But, but it kind of has the same effect as like you add, if something like a cinnamon would be too strong, throw in a little cube of vanilla cookie crunch. Maybe that's kind of the same effect they had in this kind of thing. They put vanilla in there so it tones down that cinnamon. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good and it filled up the living room pretty well, but it wasn't too, too overpowering. Then we have one more. This is a, another one from Caleb that sent us the, had the candle. This is one of his wax melts here. Vanilla spiced pumpkin. So it's kind of like a spiced pumpkin he had in the candle, but this just pretty, pretty much the same thing, but just has a little bit of vanilla mixed in there with it. And it was really good. And then I have another one. He had a, a vanilla spiced pumpkin and a scent shot as well. He had the round one and then he had a scent shot size. Then we have two Yankee Candle uh, Melt Cups. We have Witch's Brew, that's really good. It was uh, pretty much like patchouli, it's just a patchouli scent and it was really strong. It lasted for quite a while. It uh, lingered and lingered on this one, so that was really good. We have apple cider as well. 
This one was good, and I really have usually really good luck with this one, but this one this year, it was this or this one here. I've had it twice this year. The first one was really good. This one was a little didn't last quite as long as the first one did. But I still really like this scent. Usually this one lingered and lingered and lingered for days. This one didn't last quite as long for some reason. Just kind of strange as the same scent. Okay. Ralphie and Brad are coming on. Brad just picked up Ralphie from school, so they're gonna be coming in in a minute if you hear people talking. I need to finish this video though. So we have uh, these wax melts here from JD Sensations. She sent us some wax melts. She makes her own wax melts and she was working on making a website. So I'll let you know when she gets a website, uh, if she gets one up and running. She, I haven't heard from her about the website. So uh, I'll let you know. This was Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Kids. This was really good. This pretty much just like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from Bath and Body Works, uh, really strong. I liked them. Then we have some milk, or uh, not milk ups. Wallflowers are real quick. From Bath & Body Works we have Pumpkin Apple. These four that I'm gonna show you here from the fall did really, really good. Usually I have not so great luck with wallflowers. They like only last halfway and then they quit. But these all did really good. We have Pumpkin Apple, I have that downstairs. It did really good. I smelled it quite a bit through the whole thing. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, I have this in our San Marcos room and it did really good. It's still in there now it's almost finished and it's been you can smell it for the whole thing really strong that one's done really really good sweet cinnamon pumpkin had that in the hallway bathroom up here it did really good as well and i was actually really happy with this one i was actually enjoying it quite a bit and um it lasted up got a little bit lighter towards the very very last part but it, it i smelled it for the majority of it then we have cinnamon caramel swirl we have this in our master bath and it did really good too except for this one died out a little bit sooner than the other ones did. It's right now at this point, it's got about mm, half an inch left or so in there right now. And I kind of, it hasn't been smelling very much. So it did die out towards the very end, but uh, the first more than halfway, um, probably a little over half of it, it smelled really good and I had no problems with it. So yeah, those did really good with my fall uh, wallflowers. So I'm gonna buy some more winter ones and see how those perform. Cause I'm completely out of my wallflowers now. So I'm waiting for a sale. Okay, now lastly, we have the hand soaps. So I'm gonna show you real quick what we have. We have pumpkin cranberry cider. I got this one this year, even though this was the packaging from last year, this was out last year as well, and they brought it back again this year. This one, really good. Just basically cranberry and pumpkin is all what you get. You definitely get the uh, citrus from the cranberry and then with the pumpkin mixed with that. It's really good. And we have autumn citrus and sandalwood. And this one is just citrus with like yeah, citrus and then amber to say amber. Yes, amber and sandalwood. Didn't get much sandalwood. Basically just citrus and like uh, with like an amber mixed with that. Then we have coconut eucalyptus. This one was really good. And it, that's pretty much all it is. Coconut, coconut with eucalyptus. You really got that eucalyptus when you washed your hands, but it was melt, it was nicely mixed with that coconut. I really, really enjoyed this one. I would like to get another one of those, one, another one of those actually. Then we have white pumpkin peppercorn in this nourishing hand soap. I'm not really big fan of this nourishing hand soap though, but I did like this scent. Just, uh, it had like a peppercorn with like a coconut. There's a little coconut in there too. Yeah, creamy coconut, vanilla, bean, and white peppercorn. Yeah, the, uh, kind of a creamy vanilla with the coconut and then that peppercorn scent. But like I said, I'm not a fan of these uh, nourishing ones. It goes really fast and then towards the end it had quite a bit left but you couldn't get anything out of the the pump and nothing would come out and there was quite a bit left so i mixed water in there with it and then it just kind of comes out watery and just not a fan of these i still like the foamings are my favorite still and then we have another spiced apple bourbon and the nourishing hand soap this one i love the scent of this one this one just pretty much smells like pump or a uh, berry pumpkin strudel the candle. It smells exactly like that. Really good apple cinnamon with berries in there. Really good. Same thing though. Went really fast and then didn't, you had a lot left at the end. You had to mix it with water and then it just kind of got watery. Uh, I wish they'd make this one in a foaming soap. That would be great. Then we have white cherry and thyme here. This one was good. It's just cherry and then you get a little bit of thyme. And what else did it have? Eucalypt, Chris eucalyptus. Yeah, you kind of get a eucalyptus mixed with that cherry kind of scent and then the thyme mixed in there. It was pretty good. And then we have pumpkin cupcake. This was out this year, this year's. This is really good. It's just pretty much like it always is in the hand soap. Just the pumpkin um, with like a kind of a vanilla frosting kind of scent to it. So yeah, it was pretty good. 
All right, that is it for my empties video for the month of October. That was a lot, a lot. So thanks for watching, and I've already started burning my uh, burning and melting for November. So we'll see how much I have for next month because I had a lot this month. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.